Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is the 17th to the 23rd of August, 2020. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, please, for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. If this one does resonate, the extended reading is below. The link to the extended reading where we will dive a little deeper and see how they feel about you. All right, Gemini, let's see what's coming in. All right, you guys, uh, comment below. I want to see who your Gemini twin is. Get it? See what I did there? Gemini twin. Put your birthday in the comment section and find your twin. All right, Gemini, let's do it. One more shuffle and we will get to it. I hope everyone's doing well. Sometimes I say bad words or I vape or I do, I do other offensive things. If it is offensive, just a hard left. All right, let's take a look. Coming into the current moment, we have the high priestess. That's your energy coming into the current moment. Pisces. All right, what's influencing or challenging? It's the Three of Swords. Hmm, what's on your mind, Gemini? Uh-oh, the Five of Cups. What's going on, Gems? What happened in the recent past? The Five of Swords. Hey, y'all, uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna pull uh, an additional card, uh, an oracle for advice. All right, so stick around to the end. All right, what's the situation? Why is this all happening? The Two of Pentacles. Gemini, somebody hurt y'all. Somebody got hurt here. I got some bad energy here. I'm sorry. It's just what I'm seeing. Let's see how it all plays out. What's coming into the near future? The death card. Sign of Scorpio. How do you see yourself right now, Gemini? Justice. Sign of Libra. All right. Coming in from your environment that you don't see. The five of wands. All right. What's going on in your emotions? How are you feeling? The three of pentacles. What's the outcome, Gemini? What do we have? The Queen of Wands. Typically Aries energy. Sometimes that Queen of Wands will come out in my readings when she's another energy. So are you guys dealing with somebody that hurt you, kept some secrets? I see some mind games here, some manipulation, some hurting. And it's all happening because of the Two of Pentacles, somebody juggling. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? Let's get it. The Knight of Wands, yeah. Dealing with a playboy or a playgirl. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, but maybe somebody that's been kind of in and out of your life. You know, that Knight of Wands loves to exit, but he doesn't like to stay. So it can be somebody that's really just kind of about the passion, that kind of thing. Let's see what's gonna happen here though. Let's clarify all this. Move you over just a tad and see what we have. So what does Gemini need to know please about their love life? 17th through the 23rd, 2020. What's going on for Gemini? You guys see yourself as justice, so you may want to reconcile with this person. You may be waiting on an apology or just karma, because that justice is all about balancing the scales, karma, making a very important choice or a decision here. But it can also be an apology. So let's see what's up. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on? One more and we'll get to it. Five of Swords in the recent past. Somebody was trying to kind of just win at all costs here, it looks like. That Five of Swords is some pain though. All right, let's do it. Why is this overall energy coming in right now? The Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. What's this Knight of Wands? Why is this Gemini's overall energy coming into this reading and the world? Could be dealing with fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, but the world and ending here because somebody took off. Those nights, they come, they go. And that Knight of Wands, like I said, he's more typically about the passion. What's this world? Why is this the overall energy here for Gemini? Again, justice, two major arcana. So bringing balance to the situation of an ending here could have been somebody that you really kind of thought was the one, right? What do we want with justice? Why is this here, Libra? And the Page of Swords. More Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could certainly be your energy. You might be kind of inquiring about this person. Maybe you uncovered something. Maybe you found out they're married, something like that. But there's definitely an injustice going on. Coming into the current moment, we've got a high priestess, Pisces energy. She can be a secret keeper for sure. A little bit closed off. And that Knight of Swords. A lot of knights here, Gemini. So I just feel like you guys were dealing with somebody who was either very in and out or, you know, in pursuit of something. Knight of Swords is taken off quickly. He's typically in pursuit of something. And it's due to some things that have been hidden, it looks like. What's this Knight of Swords? Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. Somebody wants to reconcile, though, here with somebody that 
hurt them. The rules can be switched, take it how it fits, but what's uh, influencing all of this is this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Nine of Swords in reverse. Challenge could be to get over this. Um, what's this Nine of Swords? Some sort of separation or cheating. What's this Nine of Swords in reverse? And the Ten of Pentacles. And to get this person to commit. Somebody's dealing with a very non-committal energy here, unfortunately. And it's causing a lot of pain. In the past, we have a Five of Swords. So somebody was kind of just putting themselves first. What's this Five of Swords manipulation? The Page of Pentacles giving you breadcrumbs. I just get the sense, Gemini, this is a very in and out energy of somebody who, you know takes off, they come back, they won't give you a commitment. The recent past, again, kind of just like here's a breadcrumb, an olive branch, a very small offer, some sort of communication. What's this page of pentacles? Yeah, the death card, sign of Scorpio. Why the death card? Why did this happen in the past? The four of cups, a, reject, a rejection. Somebody felt rejected because the offers were just breadcrumbs. They were small. Um, and somebody decided to end something here. On your mind, though, is still kind of looking back at this. Could even just be regret and disappointment that you were in this situation. It's a loss, and it's, you know, it's missing someone. It's this Five of Cups, the Three of Wands. Waiting. Are you still waiting on someone, Gemini? Or are you sad and disappointed due to other people being involved? What's this Three of Wands on your mind? Judgment in reverse. Not wanting to re repeat the past. Not wanting to, I think this is more not necessarily not wanting a reconciliation, just not wanting to repeat repeat a past cycle. Why is judgment in reverse? The king of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could have a water sign on your mind, Gemini, but also the king of cups just loves unconditionally. I feel like on your mind is still longing for something here. And you may even be waiting for them to get a divorce with judgment or to leave somebody. Judgment in reverse with the king of cups. King Cups is typically married. You know, he's been in a long-term relationship for quite a while. It's all going down due to the Two of Pentacles, though. What's this about? And, yeah, see? The lovers. Somebody's juggling, trying to make decisions between two people. That lovers, that's you, Gemini. There's your energy, Major Arcana for Gemini. But juggling people here is why this is all happening. And somebody's been impulsive. They come, they go not giving a commitment, but I just get the sense somebody in the scenario is still hopeful. This lovers is a very, very um, hard decision. It's trying to take emotion out of it here, but it can be cheating. What's this lovers? And the tower, yeah, something's come down here. Something came ripping down, an epiphany, could have been a shock here. What's this tower, sign of Scorpio? And the sun, oh, a huge breakthrough. With the tower and the sun, a huge breakthrough on a situation. What's this breakthrough with the sun? What is this? And the strength card, a lot of you are dealing with a Leo. Somebody's holding back on committing here and you're starting to see the light. You're starting to see that here. But there is a small, small piece that hopes that this can work out. Again, if it's not you, it's them. Now coming into the near future, you will experience death. Why is death coming in? Scorpionic energy. And the star, sign of Aquarius. Why the star? Why will Gemini experience the star? And the two of swords in reverse. I think this is a complete transformation. It's ending something that's probably been going on for a while. Probably that needed to end. You've got some healing coming in with the star. And finally being able to make this decision and see things clearly. Why is the two of swords in reverse? Libra and energy. And the Four of Wands. What about the Four of Wands? What is Gemini going to see clearly with this Two of Swords and Four of Wands? The Empress in Reverse. Yeah, somebody's in a relationship here. Libra, Taurus with the Empress in Reverse. So there's no growth coming in. There's, it's an end. But, I mean, the one positive you have on this is that there's a breakthrough in all of this. Somebody's been holding back on you. And you're going to have to gather your strength to overcome this. This ending here, there's just, it, the energy isn't pushing forward. There's no nurturance here. There's no loving the energy and moving it forward. And I think it's because somebody's in another relationship with that four of wands. Right now, I think you guys, you want justice. You want, you want this to balance out. Why is justice here for Gemini and the Knight of Pentacles? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Ah, uh, what's this Knight of Pentacles? Why is Gemini the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords? Yeah. 
You want to build. You want something more than passion and sex because this Knight of Pentacles is all about stability, value, right? And moving forward. You want the scales to even. You want karma to play out. You want the truth with the Ace of Swords. You still want victory here, Aquarian energy. But coming in from your environment that you don't see is the Five of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. I think somebody's, there's competition here. And the energy shows still kind of waiting and getting tired of waiting and, you know, looking back on this, like what's going to happen and just kind of waiting because there's been an investment with that Seven of Pentacles, but there's competition and conflict and drama. In your emotions, maybe still wanting to collaborate here. You got the Three of Pentacles. Why is this Three of Pentacles here in Gemini's emotions? Because of the Emperor, Aries energy. He's also a husband or a father. Tell me more about the Emperor. In your emotions here is wanting to still kind of collaborate, build, work something out. Maybe even have a conversation with this Emperor energy. What's this Emperor? Yeah, see? The Hierophant. Two cards of marriage. Somebody's married in the situation. Now, the outcome has the Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands in Gemini's outcome? Who is this? The Chariot, sign of Cancer. Having to just move forward. I think you guys do get your mojo back because we see coming into the near future, you'll have this kind of enlightenment and healing due to a breakthrough on a certain energy or per person that you're dealing with. Why is the Chariot? The Chariot here is just having to call the water Uber and move forward. What's the chariot about? Yeah, and the five of pentacles. Loss, right? Feeling kind of like you're on the outside looking in. There's a queen of wands involved here too. Who's this queen of wands in this outcome for Gemini? Who is this? Four of swords. So there's a break taken due to this queen of wands energy. You know, withdraw, trying to just kind of heal. What about the four of swords? Yeah, and then just being on your own, nine of pentacles. But I saw, I told y'all, you're getting your confidence back. You are starting to get back there. This nine of pentacles knows their worth and value, but I don't see this necessarily coming back together. I think you're dealing with somebody. You pulled away, they ghosted, something like that, and it's because there's someone else, and this person's just not giving up that relationship. The outcome shows because of that other energy, you guys just move on. You guys both just kind of leave each other on the pole. There's, there's no coming together here, unfortunately. I'm sure I'll get a lot of hate on this video, but you know what? I always tell it like it is on my channel. I don't paint rainbows and butterflies if I don't see them. So, cause you know, what's the point of getting your hopes up if I'm not seeing it? So that's what I'm seeing. It's just for the week. It's not forever, but just hold on. You know, hold back. Don't reach out to anybody, at least not this week, because I see somebody just really kind of trying to distance themselves. Let's see what you need to know, though. We're going to do an overall card of advice. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 17th through the 23rd. What does Gemini need to know, please? So this Oracle deck is called the Guardian Angel Vintage Deck. It's beautiful. I love it. It used to be on Amazon, but I haven't been able to find it lately. So if you can find it, you know, let me know or, or look on Amazon. But last time I looked, I didn't see it. Overall advice. This is just overall love, family, money, career, whatever spirit wants you to know. So what do we have for Gemini? What's the overall advice for Gemini? We have nine of action. So nine of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety going on. You've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and a hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. All right, so definitely nine of action. You know what? I said nine of swords. It's actually the nine of wands. So this is holding in there. Nine of wands would be the nine of action. Hanging in there, persevering. You've been beat up. You're tired and you're guarded. Push forward. Something to do with um, gardening, the outdoors, animals, something like that. There's a message here for that, you guys, to get out there and do something like that. All right. That's what I have. If you want to check out the extended reading, that link is below. We'll dive into this person. I want to see what they're doing in their everyday life because it looks like you guys are on a break and they're being very distant. I want to see what's up with them and what the, the final outcome between you guys will be over time. All right. Loving you hard. Love me hard back. Don't forget to leave your birthday in the comment section so you can find your Gemini twin. 
speak to you soon. Take care.